Low voltage wiring will involve the requirement of different size or gauges of wire, depending on the load that it feeds, or more precisely, the amperage it will have to carry. Wire sizes are categorized by what is standard in North America, as the American Wire Gauge, AWG. This is a measure of wire thickness, which also dictates the cross-sectional area, and for a given material, ampacity. For example, 14 AWG wire, has a nominal diameter of 0.0641 inches, or 1.62814 mm. Note here, that steel wire is measured by a different gauge. AWG only applies to wire used to conduct electricity. These two charts describe the characteristics, and capabilities, of the various wire gauges of copper wire. The chart on the left, is the current carrying capacity of the various copper conductors. For example, for a load that draws 15 amps, number 14 AWG wire is required. The chart on the right, along with describing the diameter, indicates the resistance of the wire in ohms per foot. This is significant for long runs of cables. When wiring a house, there are many types of wire to choose from, some copper, others aluminum, some rated for outdoors, others indoors. In general however, there are only a couple varieties used for wiring a residential home. Romex, shown here in yellow, is the trade name for a type of electrical conductor with non-metallic sheathing, that is commonly used as residential branch wiring. In fact, Romex will be the most common cable you'll use in wiring a house. NM, NMD, NMB and NMC conductors, are composed of two or more insulated conductors contained in a non-metallic sheath. The coating on NMC cable is non-conducting, flame-resistant and moisture-resistant. Unlike other cables commonly found in homes, they are permitted in damp environments, such as basements. Underground feeder conductors appear similar to NM cables, except that UF cables, contain a solid plastic core and cannot be rolled between fingers. Romex is used for most lighting, and outlet circuits in your home. Romex will be labeled with, for example 14-2 or 12-3. The first number indicates the gauge of the wire. Your choices are typically 10, 12, or 14 gauge. The second number indicates the number of conductors. A 12-2 Romex will have a black, hot, and a white, neutral, wire as well as an unsheathed copper wire for ground. A 12-3 Romex, will have a black, hot, a red, hot, a white, neutral, and bare copper. Finally, a couple of comments in regards to wiring diagrams and house plans. Home electrical wiring diagrams should reflect code requirements, which help you enjoy lower energy bills, when you implement energy efficiency into the electrical project design. A typical set of house plans, shows the electrical symbols that have been located on the floor plan, but do not provide any wiring details. It is up to the electrician, to examine the total electrical requirements of the home, especially where specific devices are to be located in each area, and then decide how to plan the circuits. The installation of the electrical wiring will depend on the type of structure, and construction methods being used. For example, a stick frame home, consisting of standard wood framing, will be wired differently than say, a log home, because of access restrictions. Stay tuned to this site. The next nugget that I release will be a continuation of this video, where I will be diving into more detail of the essential rules. In the meantime, as a bonus and in the way of a thank you for your continued interest, I'm making available my 50-page electrical power crib sheets, if you haven't already taken advantage of downloading them. These were prepared for use with my courses. There is one section associated with each course, and are extremely valuable while viewing the course, as well as a recall of the pertinent formulas and information after the fact. The contained information is also useful during any technical career as a quick reference from time to time. Simply fill out the information requested, when you go to this website. https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, lowercase bit, dot, ly, forward slash, 4, 7, uppercase y, uppercase b, 3, lowercase v and lastly lowercase h. As I said in the beginning, Stay tuned for future releases on this site that will provide you with more tantalizing nuggets of what is available in my courses. You can also directly access my Stan Store courses at this website. https colon forward slash forward slash lowercase stan dot store forward slash uppercase g uppercase v uppercase b.